Hello YouTube and welcome to your second recursion tutorial and 34th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we will be continuing where we left in the last tutorial and that is the explanation of how it works. So we have this function factorial which calculates the factorial of a number in a recursive way and how it works I'll show you now. So let's create some drawings here and supposedly I have this main function down here fact fact and I'm calling this fu oops. and I'm calling this function with the value of 5 so I give it a value of 5 down here now this function first of all checks for these two values and obviously they are false because 5 is not less than 0 and 5 is not 0 and this function arrives at this statement down here so it says return number into fact of number minus 1 so fact says okay so what I have to return is uh, number which is 5 into fact of number minus 1 so fact of number minus 1 is 4 5 minus 1 is 4 so here at this point the execution pauses that means JavaScript says okay I won't evaluate this program unless we have the value for fact of 4 so again this goes down the fact of 4 just like this one and again the JavaScript compiler arises at this statement and which says return number into fact of number minus 1 number right now we have is 4 into fact of that means factorial of number minus 1 which is 3 again the JavaScript says okay I don't have the value for fact of 3 so I'll pause the execution for a while and the execution pauses here uh, JavaScript tries to solve this function first so now JavaScript says uh, JavaScript arrives at this command again this line again and again this line says return number which is 3 now into fact fact of number minus 1 which is 2 now let me increase the size of this uh, Size say a thousand pixels should be good. Okay, so let's run this first. Oh. So, okay, so now JavaScript says uh, this is two actually, two. So the execution again stops here. Now JavaScript says let me solve this function first and this happens in the fractions of seconds you can't even notice this these all these processes so now JavaScript says uh, to solve this function now fact of 2 is 2 into fact of 2 minus 1 that is 1 and at this point we have arrived at our base condition because we say if number is equal to oh sorry not the base one yet and fact is equal to one and then again it goes down execution pauses here it goes down and finally we have one into fact of one minus one that is zero so finally we are at base condition because factorial of 0 we have said return 1 now from here the JavaScript compiler takes it backward now at this point fact 0 returns as 1 the value 1 so this value becomes 1 into 1 that is 1 that is 1 so this value is passed to this function now fact 1 as returned is 1 so this evaluates to 2 into 1 that is 2 then this value is returned to this function down here this execution which has paused for a while then we get 
3 into 2 because 2 into 1 is 2 right here then we get 3 into 2 which is 6 now this value 6 is passed to the factorial 3 function down here and then we have 4 into 6 which is 24 and then we have this 24 value down here passed to the factorial 4 and then this evaluates like 5 into 24 which is 120 so factorial of 5 is equal to 120 and don't consider it as 5 is not equal to 120 obviously but that's how recursion actually works and that's how in recursive tree everything goes down and down and down unless this base condition is met now this condition is nothing but just a verification but this condition down here is very important because if we remove this condition then this would stop working and obviously this would uh, evaluate to not a number down here but if we remove this base condition then it would the recursion would be a kind of infinite loop so that's how a recursion works and not in javascript but actually in almost every language which supports uh, the calling of function within itself so this is how you can create program with recursion and yeah one thing i want to tell you is that recursion is not always good and for example uh, in this program it's hardly to notice the difference between recursion and the iterative methods but when we talk about series like the Fibonacci series now in Fibonacci series what we do is we take 0 1 as the base numbers the two base numbers I'm telling you the mathematical concept 0 1 and then we add the last two numbers every time so we get 1 then 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 3 then 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 then 8 plus 5 13 and like all that so in Fibonacci when we are coding in recursive now the problem that arises is we calculate the value of the position of every number many 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 times in the recursive manner without even knowing it so it increases the time of the execution in program in exponential in exponential way that means if your time in the iterative methods uh, take two seconds then it would take two to the power of two seconds in recursion and uh, doesn't sound much if your uh, execution time takes like hundred seconds then your recursion time would take two to the power of hundred now yeah it is a very large number two to the power of hundred but I'm just taking you an estimated guess. I don't say that this is accurate, but that's how recursion could cause problems in the uh, situations where a value is calculated many, many, many more times than it is required. And there's a workaround for this as well. And you could see that and you could uh, want to find that on the Google and you can find that easily and try to build your own Fibonacci series in recursion as well as in iterative methods. And this was all about recursion and how it works so that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you then in the next tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe